Welcome to this video on characteristic subgroups. We will define a characteristic subgroup of a group. We will show that every characteristic subgroup is normal. And we will also show that not every normal subgroup is characteristic. So let's begin with the definition. G is a group. H is a subgroup of G. We say that H is a characteristic subgroup of G, written H car G, if for all aut automorphisms alpha of G, we have that alpha of H equals H. In other words, all of the automorphisms of G, those are the isomorphisms from G to itself, they all fix the subgroup H. Note that this means that they fix H as a set. It doesn't mean that they have to send every individual element of H to themselves. How does this compare with the definition of a normal subgroup? H is a normal subgroup of G if XHX inverse equals H for all elements X of G. Is this equivalent to saying that H is fixed under all of the conjugation maps CX of, of G? These are the maps that send elements G to their conjugate X, G, X inverse. In a previous video, we showed that the collection of all these maps forms a normal subgroup of the automorphism group of G. We call these the inner automorphisms of G. And then we note that H is normal in G if and only if alpha H equals H for all inner automorphisms alpha of G. But given that every inner automorphism of G is an automorphism of G, this just says that H is characteristic in G implies H is normal in G. Because if H is fixed by all automorphisms of G, i.e. H is characteristic in G, then H is also certainly fixed by all of the inner automorphisms of G. So H is normal in G. But what about the converse, i.e. is a normal subgroup of G always a characteristic subgroup of G? This is in fact false. There is a group G and a subgroup H of G with H normal in G, but H not characteristic in G. For instance, consider the direct product of the cyclic group of order 2 with itself, with generators X and, and Y, giving the following four element group. Then H, the subset consisting of the, the identity element and X, is a normal subgroup of G. This is either by the fact that the index of G and H is 2, or we can just use the fact that G is an abelian group, so all subgroups of an abelian group are normal. Now, if we consider the map alpha from G to itself, sending the identity element to itself, sending X to Y, Y to X, and X, Y to itself, i.e. the map that it interchanges X and, and Y, it follows, it's easy to check, that this map is actually an automorphism of G. But we note that it sends H to the subset 1Y, which is not e equal to H. And therefore, we found an automorphism of G that doesn't fix H. So H is not characteristic in G. And in the next video, we will look at some examples of characteristic subgroups.